I think we are live now. I uh, need to start confirmation from, from the team. Uh. Yeah, let me check. I sent for live. Can you can you see the live stream on on YouTube? Okay, can can you send the link to Donut? I cannot see the link for some reason. Hello. Yeah. Uh, getting a bit. Yeah. Hello everyone, we're gonna start a uh, couple minutes. Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. wait for one two minutes till we post the announcement and then we can start Okay. Uh, all right. I think we can start. <sighs> okay. All right. Cool. Uh, I hope the sound is clear. Let's get this started. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Uh, in our first uh, player versus dev QA. Uh, oh, second one. Uh, today with the special guest Alex, the the mighty warrior in the in the arena. I probably everyone knows Alex and everyone's fearing Alex, but he's actually a nice guy. Um, personally, uh, only a mean person in game with his great team. Uh, so maybe Alex, you can um, quick introduce yourself.
Awesome, awesome. Yeah, uh, Sharuk, I think Sharuk uh, posted his uh, game time in a, in the channel. We were like, holy shit, this guy knows his stuff. Uh, and for for this this today's um, player versus dev, we want to like kind of have uh, your voice, the voice of community, kind of uh, represented by Sharuk, and bring out the questions. We can uh, talk about this stuff and also do a live QA in the chat. So if you have any questions regarding the game, regarding the tech behind it regarding i don't know personally how sharuk is uh, winning so much so many matches maybe you can do a tutorial um we just having some fun and answer some uh, important questions uh and that's it uh, oh sharuk is muted let me see let me think uh, wait people saying uh, you are muted in the uh, Give me a second. Okay, for some reason I'm also muted. Give me a second. Um Sure, can you talk? I cannot hear you uh, anywhere. Uh, uh, hi, hi. Okay, I think now they, uh, they, they should be able to hear you. Let's let's wait mm. f uh, five seconds because there's a delay and then uh, hopefully the team is going to... Uh, guys, can you can you listen to uh, Alex now? Oh yeah, Sharuk now. <coughs> Where is the chat? I can't open the chat on my phone. Oh no. Okay. We can't hear you, sure. Oh yeah. Thank you, Ken Olaba. Ah great. Um, yeah. Now it's working they say. And then, and then I need to introduce myself again. Yes, please. Please <laughs> okay. again. Yeah, I'm Sharuk. I'm uh, a guard um, of the community management team and community manager. And I am playing the game for like four hundred and fifty days to its fully potential, like never wasting any food, and I'm really honored to be here. Awesome. It's great to be to have you here. As I said, um, we're going to do this, uh, this monthly player versus dev events to just uh, have some fun, play around, but also answer important questions from your side to get uh, aligned with the, with the vision of the game and see what the, what the direction is going and also get some feedback from your side because at the end the, the game is uh, played by you guys I want you guys to be involved as much as possible and this is done throughout the voice of uh, um, Uh I think that's, a, that's going to be a fun, uh, fun thing to do uh, Alright, cool, so let's get this started um, I think Sharuk prepared some questions coming from the community first uh, and then we can go and do some live QA, also play around, play some games. Probably gonna play against uh, Sharuk in, uh, in a game, so that's gonna be interesting. And also we're gonna have, uh, don't forget, we're gonna have dropping three codes for for the tr transfer portion, but and also the Gleam uh, competition code we're gonna drop during this event. Cool, let's get this started. Okay, yeah, then... Uh something really urgent uh, yesterday we got a new patch right yes and it had matchmaking changes and um, right after I patched I got a level 6 enemy and then a level 9 enemy I can not slaughter these guys even if I'm the bali ball <laughs> um, yeah what is the forecast for that? Sure, uh, that's a very good uh, good point. So basically, with the season zero, we are starting. We want to like kind of go around and see what we can do with the matchmaking, because uh, and that's the reason why we are doing the season zero. We want to polish the matchmaking, try new stuff, try to see what we can do to match people um, at the best time and best places. Um, and right now we're working on a system which gets you guys get all the information from your 
from your account regarding your power of the heroes, your NFTs, uh, your level, and also we need to integrate the, the system of your skill, right? So that's that's going to be the new part. You're gonna um, you're gonna designing it right now and uh, implementing it hopefully uh, as soon as possible and to test and see what we can do. So basically, we're going very uh, in the Elo Elo uh, Elo system where we really want to kind of balance balance the whole ladder out very fast. So basically, if you're strong, and pretty strong, and early on, let's say the season starts and you're very strong, so you should climb very fast so you go away from the lower ranks. Uh, or the vice versa. So let's say you're now on the top ladder, but you're just losing, right? You're just losing. I had this, for example, myself, where you played against a lot of good players and just losing. So we need to make sure that you are not going to play next time against a, uh, again, a very strong opponent, but also to give you, okay, say this player is not doing well. We need to match him with not the same height, maybe lower height, because maybe he is right now not in the league or not in the place uh, or skill level he is. So um, you want to see a lot of changes during season zero, maybe some of some frustrating ones, maybe some interesting ones, because we are really using the season zero to uh, experiment a bit with the matchmaking and see what is the best uh, way, because we want to pre prepare the game for more uh, entrance of players. Because uh, we need to like the, the competitive the competitive scene. It's fueled by the players itself. So as soon as we make sure that we have more players coming in with the marketing and all we are planning, we need to make sure that the matchmaking is working, or else we having a lot of frustrated new players. And that's the reason for the season zero, and that's why the maybe the matchmaking is playing a bit crazy right now. Okay. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds reasonable. Um, and for all the other bugs, <laughs> like the samurai bug and the barbarian bug, they're really annoying, to be honest. Yeah, so um, bug related stuff. So basically what we're doing, uh, that's something that's not very fancy, so it's not going, cannot post about it, it's not the, like nice stuff, it's a more cool stuff, right? We are doing a lot of um, refactoring of old code because uh, the game is, is around for a long time, right? I, I started myself, I would say I'm not the best coder, let's say that, let's be honest. And we need to like, now we have much better people in the, in the company and we're glad for that. So we are redoing a lot of stuff to have a better fundamental of the, the gameplay and of everything to be able to build on top of it in a more way. Um, that's why there is constantly doing so as we speak for a long time now we're doing a lot of refactoring of the code uh, and that is going to help or is going to definitely um, eliminate the a lot of bugs we have right now which is just um, causing issues because of the old code in that sense uh, as I said it's not fancy so uh, you need to bear with us without that because it's not it's not a fun thing to show some codes but why doing that we are still uh, planning to add new stuff to the game so it's this kind of two uh, two units in the company working on different sides um, and why the refactoring is being done we're gonna have some new events some new some new features we're planning on and at the end they, these these roadmaps gonna meet with each other and then we go able to kind of show you the full potential of the game in that sense uh, but this set from the this is only the game side. We're building heavily on the other side of the project, which is the blockchain and the, the economy side of things. So marketplace, the merge, the DAO, uh, the DAO which is coming, uh, the staking system which is coming. This also all are going to be built or are is building right now. So we are having both sides of the um, both sides of the project building and then you're going to see in the Q2 uh, the first um, new utilities for the token and the first new uh, new platforms we built from the event base from the feature side on the game and also from the blockchain side on, on our website and our other on our yeah on our website basically um yeah that sounds uh, pretty good 
<clears throat> I'm sure you know what you are doing with a refactor. Um, yes, you're still you're still um, developing on two strings. You said so. What what core features or core changes did you realize in the last months? Um, I, I don't want to, so we need to be careful with, with too much alphas, but um, basically the, our focus on the game side is going to be a lot of uh, social social features and also a bit more focus on events or more events and also more PVE stuff uh, while we while we are refactoring the game to make to be able to do significant changes to the PVP. Because um, there's no, there's no, makes no sense right now for us to do any PvP changes because we are going to build a new thing. But we are adding new features on the PvE side to keep the players also engaged, also help them be able to um, move forward in the game. And one of the biggest features or one of the uh, efforts we're going to have is to lowering the, lowering the time between a new player comes in and gets his first nft in that sense um and that is going to be the first thing we are going to manage the problem is right now we, there's like a lot of gatekeeping happening in the economy is just because um the economy itself is a very new thing we, uh, we're kind of trying to build new th in, uh, new something new uh which is not really a copy paste economy from other games in that sense and a key mechanic to that economy is the merge the merge, although, is a, it's not a very um, simple thing. So this is a, it's a merge contract is, is built. We're working on it. It's in the audit right now. It takes Everything takes so much time on the blockchain development side. Uh, that's also you can see why a lot of other blockchain companies have delays in their product. It's just because you want to do it right. right. And then also the timelines in blockchain development are just different. And it's also like you're depending on the audit. You're depending on third parties. Uh, and this said, the merge is super important for the economy, and that's something we're doing as we speak. And hopefully, when that is out, we can we can really see a lot of changes in the in-game economy, which makes players have have it easier to find NFTs and to be able to interact with them. But also talking about NFTs. A big problem right now we're seeing or big feedback not probably big feedback from you guys is like hey we don't get enough nfts or it is so random it is a bit frustrating we don't know exactly when is the next time and that is a big issue and i we understand that uh, and that's where the game design team is working on a new system where where you can uh, can see that um that that there is progress in the in your in your game in your account you're getting uh getting components of the nfts and you know okay when i continue doing this i'm definitely going to get this what i want and not just okay it's by luck and i'm playing for one month and i didn't get anything uh that's the next step we are working on yeah <clears throat> So we get another drop system that is definitely reasonable. I have a lot of feedback that got like nothing in one month and other people dropping three things in one day, Mr. Burton. Um, we have some questions in the chat. Uh, Dimoyolf asked if we will have to match uh, lower levels at the season start like every new season um match lower level can you can repeat that question again i didn't get it sorry do you do you hear me hey, somehow you just turned really quiet uh give me a second did something happen? Can you hear I me? I can try to turn on my volume. Okay. I can hear you though, but uh, can you hear me? Yeah, just just a little bit quiet, but it's 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 working. Okay. <clears throat> um, the chat still has our 
sound, I guess. I think so, yeah. So, um, what was the answer to to that question? Uh, what was the question again? Can you repeat that? Um, Dimoyov asked if we need to fight low levels every season start. Or will that be fixed with the new matchmaking too? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, so basically, uh, that's definitely not the, uh, not optimal, right? You're fighting low levels, that's not, that makes no sense. Of course, there's right now also a bit of a problem with the with the player count like if the if, if we want to um, the matchmaking works well we need more players into the game but also we're looking into solutions uh like um ah gotcha uh let me check with the camera again quick uh we're looking for solutions into the game um to cut my own camera in, in skype and get back to stream hopefully um but anyway ah oh, there we are um we're looking solution like soft resets or uh different type of resets so you don't really um jump to the zero zero by everyone but this problem is going to also be solved with a new matchmaking as we implementing an mmr system so it's like an internal internal point system for each account for each pe uh, each player which determines their skill so no matter in a reset if everyone everything's reset it's we're not gonna match you guys based on your trophy count in that sense completely because everyone is zero technically but also based on your internal skill skill level uh, which is called the mmr uh, so the the issue with matching with very low levels should should not be a problem anymore Oh, that sounds good. Um, and we have a lot of other questions. Some I can even answer in chat. Um, Strike is asking, when can we earn a night token? Um, so the night token is um, the main uh, token for the economy. And night token is not going to be a um, play to earn. Basically, you earn by by just playing. It's more for uh, for special events. So as the season starts, so the actual season starts, we're gonna start with seasonal rankings, different events. Uh, in the two tokenomics of the of the project, you can see for, I think forty five percent of the of the night token is for the ecosystem. So we're going to definitely have you guys. Um, be able to earn night but with for example that our DAO or staking um, if, uh, staking platform is coming out very soon and that's where you can kind of um, participate in vote in in the proposals of the game let's say let's say hey you have now the, the question do we want to do a skin for paladin or do you want to do a skin for the thief and probably a lot of people are gonna say paladin and you can like kind of actively vote on it and actively shape the next content of the game and for doing that, you're going to be able to uh, receive staking rewards in the form of night token. Uh, so this is, for example, one, one of the things. And also in the gameplay for, for different rewards is going to be the night token, but also uh, uh, different NFTs and on coming on the marketplace. We're also having some, some ideas how we can kind of reward you guys as player by participating in the economy. Mm hmm okay <clears throat> so um you kind of uh mentioned the merging uh, do we have a, a good system for that since you said it's critical for the economy <laughs> if you have a good system for that um i think so i mean um well, I think the merge was discussed internally for a long time. Like, I mean, I remember talking with Noor as well. For so much, we changed a lot and changed the contract. Because, um, as you said, it's a very critical critical thing for the economy. 
and uh, we really also want to make sure so the goal was that each nft in our game has a value and that's that's how we want to create this nft economy instead of a second token uh, and the best way to do this is um, make sure that no matter what stage a player is an nft can give him some sort of utility and this way we made the decision of okay each item is also in component and the merge came to came to the came life like the idea of merge um, now the question was always okay how do we want to do it do they merge only the same item do they merge the same type of item do they merge the same rarity right and how we can make sure that it's not limited too limited uh, for the players and also not too um, too focused on let's say for example let's say you there's a there's the meta is right now paladin and paladin has a great shield and everyone needs that shield so do you always need to farm half the shield to merge and this is going to make sure that the whole thing is is really focused and that we, don't we want to so we have different plans for that but it's definitely going to be um you're going to have like one main main item which you want to improve and you're getting the components to it to to improve that randomly based on the component the blockchain merge is going to have need less components than the regular merge because because it's just if you're doing the math then you're gonna need like one million uh something uh for level 10 item right that makes no sense uh, but i don't want to say exactly how it's going to be but it's going to be probably uh each rarity you can we can merge rarity rarity based for the next next level and then the the main comp no the main focus item which is going to get upgraded or created a new one is going to inherit uh inherit stats from the lower component and this way you can kind of create new items like let's say there's a pop, there's a shield but you, your your team needs a i don't know a poison shield but there's no such shield out there so you need someone to come up and merge poisonous uh, item component to that shield to create the poison shield. And that's going to be very exciting to see what people kind of create and what meta is going to create is created based on the new items that you guys create and not us anymore. Okay, I'm really happy for that. I have so many uncommon NFTs to merge. I would like to start right right away. Um, someone asked if we can stake NFTs to earn night token. Um, so we we do have plans for NFT staking, um, and it also has parts of it depending on how it works that you can earn night by staking your nft but it is not a um it is not something you just put an nft in it and you just earn night it's going to be a more event based more gamified based depending on what event is having right now and it's not a um a not a not a straightforward staking and where you get night because the night token is not going to uh, it's a very important aspect of the economy. It's not like you can just earn it very passively. That's we want to also go away from the everything passive, also because of regulations which is coming. Uh, so it's always an active act of okay. If you stake, for example, we have the idea of expedition, uh, and you can like kind of don't want to talk too much about it, but you can like kind of give your give your uh, stake your NFT or weapon to a certain someone in the in in the universe. Uh, in the forest night universe and he goes and and do expedition for you and comes back and brings you something uh what that something is i uh, don't want to talk about it too much but there is going to be definitely nft staking so we really want to give the nfts of the forest night game the most utility possible because th those are which drives the economic value uh for the game so the nft staking is in the pipeline as well Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and the night staking, 
let's on the plan for a long time, right? Yes, this you, this you, you can give us an ETA Q2. This this is going to be this 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 quarter. Oh, that's great. Okay, um, one last question from YouTube live chat from Antlandia. Can the thief and the <laughs> other heroes get a buff in the future? Um, most of them are not good to use at the moment. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Um. Balancing is also something we definitely need to need to attack more um, as we are kind of doing redoing everything some 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 heroes are also going to get redone um, But we definitely need to make sure that we have um, We have all heroes in certain place that they, they are usable in some way uh, For that also we're going to implement a lot of more analytics. So we're gonna implement more analytics to see okay what who is using what what here is not being used who who has the lowest win rate who has the highest win rate so we can like kind of um kind of we can kind of adjust the adjust the hero um hero strength hero stats or hero skill uh to make that um, that hero balance against all other ones. Uh, so that's definitely, definitely something. Uh, I know Thief is, is something that no one uses in that sense, so we definitely need to buff him at some point. Uh, but before we continue, let's let's drop the giveaway code. Uh, it's for the Gleam, right? Uh, give me a second. I think I need to do a text. And there so this is the text on top left is the the gleam code so you can you can put that in the gleam uh gleam event no gleam giveaways to be able to get some more points there and also let's drop already maybe drop a a transfer potion in the chat um let me see or actually i'm gonna send Alex, I'm gonna send you two two codes. Uh, you can drop them whenever you want in the chat, and let me just drop it now. The the third code, okay? Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, okay, dropping the code in the chat now, and the next two, Alex, gonna drop at some point. It's only for one for one transfer potion, right? So they actually need to be yeah. fast to get. Yeah, it. yeah, exactly. They need to be oh. fast. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing he just dropped is the redeem code. You most likely open your game now <laughs> and put it per copy paste into the game. And if you're lucky, you're the first one to enter it and get the transfer potion. But we have two more left, so just keep uh, keep an eye on the chat whenever Alex puts posted it. Uh, okay, do we have any more more questions? Um, mm, I am through for myself. Uh, we can obviously uh, take some questions later on if they appear in the chat. Um, I would like to uh, announce that the community management team would like to open its doors again. Oh, that's good. So we get some more guards. Um, yeah. So if you want to apply as a guard, um, I will put an announcement later today so you can apply there and we will come back to you as soon as possible also awesome. the guards of the the forest night is there's yeah uh, very exactly. central the guards are like moderators are uh, just normal players um wanting the the game to be uh 
the best of its the best version of itself and uh, keep the chats clean and yeah test uh, new features test new versions of box and yeah it's a lot of stuff guys yeah. can actually do totally i mean i mean uh, i want to also say uh, official again thank you big thank you to the to the mods to the guards they really help us a lot uh moderating the chat but also giving us a lot of ideas we come so they test new features they give us feedback um and we, we really um appreciate the, the help so if you want to join hit uh let alex know uh i think it's worth it um you teased me with a pvp event right oh, so true. how do we do it uh let's let's see let's see if we can match together um i i my my bad i didn't think about i forgot that you are a beast in the game and uh, my level is not yours uh so let's see what we can do uh, let me just let me just jump into the game first. Uh, bring the bring the game so player can see after we are okay. I like the I like the stream set setup. That's nice actually. I need to do this stuff more often. Okay. Uh, wait, I see a question. Uh, will there be a improvement for the arena, like two versus two, at some point? If so, which feature gonna be coming? Uh, well, you're yeah. really quiet right now. I didn't understand anything. Oh, I'm quiet. Uh, let me go more near to the... Um, so, uh, the question was, will there be improvement for the arena, like 2 versus 2, at some point? If so, when is the feature going to be coming? Um, yeah, we definitely, we definitely going to uh, explore more features in the PvP side, or, also, or more in the social side, like 2v2, or you team up with your t uh, with another player to beat something uh, or go to an event we are also coming with the guild system so you need to kind of have your doing extra activities with your guild uh, partners but also in the pvp arena we uh, as i said uh, we're really waiting for we're really focusing on redoing some of the codes uh, behind it to make it more safe make it more more stable to then start experimenting with new features new uh new ideas so uh this is definitely on, on our um on our list uh, i see some some a lot of questions so let me just show you guys so you just you just need to go to your profile um uh, and then redeem and here where you put the redeem code okay Okay, well, how about, uh, uh, Alex, how about we do first, uh, I try to go to the arena, uh, and you help me with, you coach me. How does that sound? <laughs> Let me see. Um, I don't think your script guy wanted that. <laughs> but, <laughs> let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I play on phone or on laptop with emulator i'm using nox and it's kind of slow ah oh, i'm using blue chips actually blue uh, stack sorry blue stack. but i can't see the chat anymore mm. okay um which account do you want to use do you have an in-game name yes i am befar dev this is my account befar dev. yes well, let me check I remember I played against. I think it was Green. Green completely annihilated me, like destroyed. Yeah, me. you you fought against one of the guards. Yeah, yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> um, the the code in the chat is one time use. So uh, if someone already redeem it, uh, you cannot use it anymore. But we're gonna dropping two uh, two more codes soon. Yeah, I just uh, dropped the second code. Oh, nice. Some, some minutes ago. Um, D 
do you have set up your team? Yes. So my yes. so my team is archer, uh, assassin, and priest. Well, I I already told my people that I will take different formations to make it a little bit more fun. Yes, please. Um, don't don't go all in. I will see if that works out against you. Um, can you? Uh, or are you already logged in? Yes. Okay. Can you please? Uh, go into town. Uh, go into adventure map and then back and then queue up. I adjusted your trophies so we can probably match. So tell me if you're in. Okay. The matchmaking. Okay, I'm gonna go to the matchmaking in three. Uh, two, one, no. Did you did you go into adventure before? Yes, yes, I'm 1,500. Yes, okay. That I can only reach that with cheats. So, I'm at 1,502. Then let's see, match is starting. Oh, uh, I think it's you. it's you. Yeah, yeah, I think it's you. Match is starting in five. But don't look at my screen, no? No stream sniper. Okay, easy daily mission also. Defadev Sharuf, oh my god. Yeah, why do you have Arcanus actually? I thought you'd go with a, with a not so good combination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay, you're heroes and the count level is pretty low i don't <laughs> i don't know <laughs> no look look what we do is you're you're only allowed to move uh one hero at the same at at one per turn i i will still yeah okay <laughs> one 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 hero per turn okay let's see you you got a beautiful NFT dagger from old old days. Yes, I know, right? That's dagger a, of Brotherhood. Yeah, that was the. Those were times. Uh, okay, okay. Let's let me get my my mana up, and hopefully, wait. What do you have? Oh, is that the? Do you have the, the tomb? The the boss tomb. On your Achilles. Oh, you have Dominic. Uh, too. The, my Ar Arcanus, uh, oh, my, uh, yeah, has yep. the angelic skin. It's the skin uh, that was handed out for uh, handing back additional items true. that I know. Yeah, I, I really like that skin. But yeah, I really like that skin actually. And also, you have the demonic tomb. Your Arcanus is is, is dangerous. <laughs> I see. Uh, ah, shit. I'm not even using her, so. Ah, we need to go. This, this isn't isn't a fair matchup. I don't know why why are you still level eight? You don't know what? Why are you still level eight? Ah. Ah, uh, wait. You have already mana. Okay. Never mind. Okay, that <laughs> that was was a clear victory for me, I guess. What, wait, what do you mean clear? It was pretty close, actually. If I look at the chat, I think the chat <laughs> is saying it was very close. Um, oh, wait. Let me change the text on top left. So somehow we know. need to change something. I don't know. Um, Can you adjust your heroes? Uh, in what way? In uh, taking another another formation uh i mean i could but i it's everything is level eight right so um i go with this formation then okay then i will at least take another formation takes a second um like this okay um the strong thief in your team. Oh, Angelo wants to see this powerful paladin and the strong thief in your team. 
I agree. Angela wants to see what? I, I have, don't see the chat. Right uh, now. So, Paladin and Thief. You need to pick those. I need to pick Paladin and Thief. Yes, and, and Ninja. Paladin, Thief and Ninja. Oh, my Ninja isn't even level 16. I will upgrade him first. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no upgrades. <laughs> 11, 12... Luckily, I got my seasonal rewards to do that. I was always lacking gold. Okay, now he's 16. Um, gear. Switching some gear. Yeah, we should. I agree. We should. We should also see other. Uh... Someone saying, can we see Sharuk versus Burton next? I think we, we need to do like some some P PvP events from like big big players. That's actually pretty fun. Yeah, PvP events would be would be great. Yeah, I thought you mean that with uh, additional additional events in the season. And the, the, also, this the, we're gonna have additional events, but I mean for live stream, like maybe we can have. You play against other mods, and then we in the live stream, and then I think it's gonna be fun. Against other mods. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sure. I mean. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm I'm in search again. Okay, I'm searching as well. Yeah. Everyone wants to see Burton Sharuk. You guys are rock stars. You're like oh. you're like Messi and Ronaldinho. Uh, Ronaldo, really sorry. Have your opponent. Oh. Ah shit! I I I got some problems. I got a disconnect. You got a disconnect. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and restart your game. Yeah. yeah. Let me let me. Yeah. What what happened? I, I still haven't. Let me second. Let me... No, I think I will just watch the stream on YouTube now. Somehow I'm completely off the page. I don't know. Life. First knife. Life stream. Yes. Yes, Kilo. Two, three levels, you can be a big player. You're already, I think, bigger than my, my account, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, you don't stream your, your game? No, no, I I just log in right now and then I'm gonna stream now. I um, I just wasn't able to show your your uh, fighting screen. Yes, yes, yes. People saw it. People saw how close the game was. Nerf assassin. Oh, yeah, now I can I can actually read the chat again. That's great. Should okay. have done that before. Oh, okay, wanna find uh, ready for uh, match. I'm gonna search in three, two, one. Now. Is that you? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Since you got adjusted so, so high, I think you can only match me. Yeah, Hopefully. I mean, I mean from, Unless the, it bugs. from the skills perspective, I think I deserve to only match you as well, because. Whoops! Uh, I got a whoops. Yeah, I got as well. I think I I have some. I think my blue Why? my blue stacks. Why did we get a whoops? I sometimes have a problem with the blue stacks from the working station, like the VPN. I don't know what's going on sometimes. But let's try again, and then if not, we just answer some questions again, and then we prepare ourselves for the next one better. Uh, did did you put maybe a skin? No. Maybe it's one of my skins. Oh, maybe, maybe. Let me check. Let me, I'm gonna check my. Or maybe is it one of your skins? Could be, because I remember we had some issues with some skins. I think that's it. Yeah, I, and again, I didn't get. What the hell? I didn't get I'm your. Completely bugged now to you. Okay, yeah. I will. I will de-equip all the skins. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> That's okay. Next time. 
Oh, these OG skins. I like. Okay, one, one more try. One more try. Ah, there we are. Looks better. So it's actually the thief that bugged our game. What what <laughs> what skin was it? Uh, the top ten Halloween mm. Crimson Square okay, okay. guy from that series. Now I'm at Paladin, Ninja, and Thief, Demoyol. <laughs> Let's see if I can do something against this level 15 heroes. How how are you level 15 suddenly? Hey, how am I level 15? Are you, are you cheating? I think it's a visual bug. Um, cause maybe some some developer had mercy with you. Maybe maybe. Oh fuck! I pressed something. Um, uh, this. I think I need to wait a bit. Let's go this, and then. Okay. How many how many codes are left to give out? One code is left, but Okay. Should give this. Well, that range advantage is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> hmm, what do I do now? Oops. Okay, okay. I see. Wait, is, does it have like... Uh, I didn't attack it, right? Ah, uh, that was bad. Oh, why did I do this? Wait. Rook seems happy. Yeah. Oh my God! He killed my. What do I? What I do? I do now. Ah, uh, easy, easy. Sharuk need to train a bit more. Um. Oof, oof, oof. With his items. Yeah, sure. You see my my weapons, right? I love the. Keeper of Trident Paladin Shield. Sadly, the hero isn't that great, so. <laughs> oh, Brotherhood D Dagger is actually not that strong, Camel Lava. 200 attack and 5 uh. additional mana. Ah, uh, shit. I think she's gonna die now. Oh, you didn't kill me. That's, no. That's no. lucky. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought I got like enough attack. Boom! You exploded in a Shit. big green skull. Okay, okay. Ah, fuck. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, that was a bad move. Mm. Mm. My paladin is awesome. Look at him. No, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. Okay, that was a good game. <laughs> <laughs> I made a huge mistake. Yes, yeah, somehow. I should have. I should have go. What the? I can't. I can't. No. I sh ah. Okay. I'm able to attack. Yeah. I should have go straight and kill. Uh, hit your thief first. But I I made a mistake, and then and then maybe I would have won the one v one against Paladin because Paladin doesn't do that much damage. But that's it. Okay, all right. We already are almost at one hour. Uh, let's finish it here, so it's not getting too long. Also okay, then I will at least drop the last code. Yes. Um, okay. Drop the last code. Uh, also, thank you, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, it was really fun. A lot of good questions. Seeing the chat also very uh, active. Really appreciate that. And we're gonna do this every month. Uh, maybe 
with different topics, different guests, even uh, maybe uh, we talk about some game design, so some ready. lore, so everything. And Alex is gonna drop the code now. <laughs> Ban Ban, Ban I, I agree. I agree. You know, he, he had level <laughs> fifteen heroes with level eight, right? And still matched me. That's everything a little bit weird. I mean, I have the. <laughs> I have the bonus, so developers like change some stats very fast, probably. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, cool. Uh, any any last words? Any anything else? Uh, Sharuk, you want to say? Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you for having me. Uh, was a great experience, and I feel you're really really passionate with your game. I hope you can maintain that. And yeah, bye bye. Cool, thanks for having you, uh, appreciate to be there.